Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Lens Club. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk all about how you can become better at dating. And I want to give you five key points, five key, key takeaways that you can implement into your own dating life to become more successful. So let's get after it. In my coaching program, the link is down below to our website. Should you decide to look into that further, some one-on-one -on -one coaching, the link to that is my website. Also my group mentorship program. Most of these guys have the same common issue and that they're always asking the wrong question. And typically that question is they're comparing themselves to other men and they're viewing these other men as competition. Now to be fair, yes, men are in a war against everything. We're in a war for resources, we're in a war for women, we're in a war for jobs and money and all this. It is a war, but you have to remember one key takeaway that you are individually, uniquely and powerfully made. You are the only you in this world. So that wouldn't it be better to be your own competition specific to dating, leveling up yourself. This is what this whole channel is about, is to becoming the best version of yourself so that when a woman does enter your life, she's really just the icing on the cake. You're the cake, you're whole, you're complete. And that it takes that pressure off. All these other guys are in competition with her. It is true to a degree, but you can't lean towards that because she likes you for a reason. You just have to become her best option. Make sense? Understanding that and realizing, yes, there are men out there who are probably better looking than you, who make more money than you, who are more charismatic than you, blah, 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 blah. Also understand there are women out there who will find you simply amazing just for who you are, the best version of who you are, not the eh version of who you are. So knowing that, let's give you five key takeaways, five key points that you can implement into your dating right now to help level up your dating skills. The first takeaway on this is be the person you want to date. Now this whole idea of opposites attract is completely bullshit. Like attracts like. So you want to look for partners who share the same interests, the same goals, they're on the same mission as you, or at least they, they're aligned with you on your core values. And you want to shy away from the people who are your opposites because if somebody is your opposite for instance let's say you meet a girl who's very spontaneous and she is a little flaky but she's fun to be around and she kind of has this lackadaisy attitude but you're a little bit more structured you're a little more rigid you like to actually make plans and carry out those plans and she's the type that likes to break the plans and do something different well you're really not aligned in the way you guys are operating. Your operating systems are completely different. And so on the one hand, she's gonna feel frustrated because she's gonna feel like you're this fuddy-duddy and you're, you're just too rigid and you're just too structured. And she's gonna feel like this is a project, like I have to pull him out of his shell. Well, what if you don't wanna come out of your shell? What if you like the person you are? What if you like the world you've created. So you're just gonna feel like she's being disrespectful of the plans that you made, but in reality, you just come from two different worlds and that's okay. She should find somebody who is a little bit more spontaneous, a little bit more adventurous. Now, that's not to say if you like that trait in her and you're trying to become a little more adventurous, a little bit more loosey-goosey about the way you do things, well, that's one thing. But you actually have to want to do that. And if you don't want to do that, then you're kind of dating the wrong person. So like definitely attracts like. And don't feel bad if you're dating somebody and you guys just aren't aligned. Not all relationships are meant to work out. The next idea is know what you want. There's different stages that men come into their new dating experience. Again, after a breakup, a divorce, you're always being friend zoned or you're just brand new at dating. There's always these different walks of life and these different stages men come in. 
And oftentimes, the guys who are new at dating or who have some inexperience with dating, they worry to a degree of their inexperience. It doesn't say anything about you. It just says you're new to the dating. Like I said, maybe you've been married. Maybe you've been in a long-term relationship and that broke up for whatever reason. You're just kind of getting new into these new social norms, this new dating scene. You just have to know what you want. So if you are a man who wants to get married, who wants to be in a committed relationship, and you come across a woman who is not really there, maybe she's into polygamy, maybe she's not really into monogamy, well then, you don't wanna just settle for this type of woman because it's somebody in your life. You want to find somebody who wants the same things you do. So you have to know what you want first. You can't possibly expect to meet somebody and not have a roadmap for your own life and your own dating, especially if you are a man, you are supposed to a degree set the tone to set the expectations for who you want to date. The next one, and the, the third, next, whatever you wanna call it, this is a big one, you actually have to take control. One of the reasons why some men are very successful at dating is they're very proactive, they take action. Many men are very inactive. These men who are good at dating are actively pursuing what they want rather than waiting around for others to make the first move. They kind of, they just take control of the relationship. And this is what women want. They want a leader. They want a man to take control of the relationship, lead that relationship to wherever that relationship is going. Again, if it's just casual sex, a long-term relationship, marriage, whatever it is, she wants to be led, you need to take control. Now taking control, when I say that, it's not being dominant or being an asshole in the relationship or deciding everything. It means not letting women or other people dictate the terms of your life, directly or indirectly. This is kind of why when guys go through a breakup and they really want to get her back and, and they will do everything and she's dating somebody else, she's literally dictated the terms of this new relationship. You have a choice. You can passively just stay her friend or you can cut complete ties with her and ghost her. I always say no contact, all of that. We're getting off topic, but again, now you're actively pursuing the terms of your own life. And the next one is you providing security. Now I'm not talking about provisions with money, I'm not talking about provisions with, you know, being a guy who's gonna beat everyone's ass. Providing security to a woman basically means she can rely on you, she can let her guard down around you. You can be somebody that she can trust. Can she come to you with a problem or a situation and she just wants to talk without you trying to fix it? Can she come to you with maybe something that happened and she knows you're not gonna be this emotional little girl about it, you're gonna be strong, you're gonna be her rock? That's what creates safety, that's what creates security. Can she trust you to be straightforward with her? A lot of women have experienced men who play games and have these hidden agendas. This is why I say, state what you want, lead the relationship. Tell her, this. these are the terms, these are what I'm looking for. Yes, you can make some arrangements and some compromise, but generally keep it a win-win relationship. She's going to feel safe around that. You're not playing games, she's not guessing what the hell is this guy gonna do? Are we getting married? Are we even in a relationship? Is this a situation ship? Be straightforward, let her understand that and she will feel secure around you. The more she can trust you, the more she can trust herself around you. The more she can rely on you, the more she'll want to be around you. And finally guys, just know how to make her feel. You wanna spike women's emotions. You don't wanna spike their logic. The key to attraction is not always physical, it's about the mind. To attract somebody, you need to understand how to make them feel good around you, how to make them feel good in your presence. You can do this by making them feel like they're the only person in the room, Make them feel special when there's a room full of women, a room full of people. She 
feels like she's the only one there talking to you. You can do this by listening, actively listening to her, remembering details and showing her genuine interest. You can do it with humor, bringing joy to her life, being a positive influence in her life, not a net drain. You can do it a lot of different ways. It's spiking that emotion in her that pulls her towards you. All of these approaches have one thing in common, it's positive feelings. When a woman has positive feelings for you, when they generally love getting that text from you or that phone call or you set a date and she's really looking forward to it, you're, you know you're on the right path. You're setting positive emotions. When a woman looks at your text and like, fuck, he, he just texted me 20 times or she calls and she looks, she's like, fuck, I don't want to talk to him because he's going to be this emotional bitch. He's going to complain and bitch and, compl and cry about shit. When she goes out on a date with you, she doesn't want to feel like you're looking at every girl in there, scoping out your next piece. When you can do all of the opposite, you can make her feel safe and you can spike that emotion of, of that, those positive emotions in her, she will follow you to the end of time. Women are emotional creatures. So the best thing you can do is spike her emotions in a positive way. And if you can do that, she is going to value you way more than somebody who's like a super giga chad with a thunder cock. She's going to value you because of the way you make her feel. That's all I got on this, guys. My name is Jared Schoonmaker. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you found videos like this helpful, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. You know it helps the algorithm. Consider sharing this with maybe a friend who's struggling in this area. And hit that bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, have an amazing day and we'll talk soon.